how to create a scorecard. First, you open up Photoshop, then you start a new file. You can name it whatever you want. Then be sure to have the width at 800 pixels, the height at 600 pixels, and the resolution is 72 pixels per inch. And hit OK. Next, you're going to upload a background for your scorecard. I'm going to open one I already have saved. Okay, I'm going to click and drag this to my file. I'm going to go ahead and scale it back to the size of the document. Okay. After that, I'm going to blur the background to have a more focal point on the information on the poster. So I'm going to use the blur, the blur tool right here. And I'm going to go ahead and have the brush size pretty large to have the whole background blurred. And the strength, I'm going to put at 100 to have a stronger effect. After blurring the background as much as you would like to, next I'm going to add boxes to add text to. I'm going to use the rectangle tool right here. It makes solid colors, colored rectangles. And I'm going to go over here to, the, um, to how opaque it'll be. And I'm going to go down to 50% so the background still has effect. Next, I'm going to add text to on top of the rectangle. And I'm going to go ahead and write Hayworth High School. I'm going to go ahead and make the text larger to fit the box. Okay, next I'm going to add a player that I will normally do. I took pictures of each player and cut them out to put them on the scorecards. Here's an example. I'm going to click and drag the player to the file. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust the size. Next, I'm going to add the name and the stats of the player during the game. To make this text stand out better, I'm going to double click over the name and add a stroke to it. This will add an outline to make it easier to read. Next, I'm, after finishing up the poster, I'm going to go ahead and save it, but I'm going to save it as a JPEG. It'll be easier to upload on the website. Okay, now that I saved it, I'm going to pull up the website. I've already logged in and gone to where I can add a new item. I'm going to go ahead and add the player's um, stats. I can upload it to latest news, latest news other than another subject, and I'm going to upload the image. I'm going to choose the file.
And this is an example, so I'm not going to upload it to the actual website, but after this I would hit save and close and the picture would be on the website.